U.S. President Joe Biden says he expects Iran to attack Israel sooner rather than later. He warned Tehran against any attack while underscoring Washington's commitment to defending Israel. Fears of Iranian retaliation have been building since an airstrike widely blamed on Israel, Israel hit Tehran's consulate in Damascus on April 1st. Israel has ramped up its attacks on Iran-linked targets since the October 7th terror attacks. Here's Biden with a message for Iran. Eminent, do you think an attack on Israel is from Iran, Mr. President? I want to get a secure information, but my expectation sooner than later. What's your message, Mr. President? What is your, what is your message to Iran? What is your message to Iran right now? What is your message to Iran in this moment? Don't. Or else so clear words there from U.S. President Biden. Let's get straight across to Jerusalem and our correspondent Rebecca Ritters for more. Rebecca, the U.S. has now rushed warships to protect Israeli and American forces in the region. What information does Israel have on the likelihood of an Iranian attack? Well, the exact concrete information that either the U.S., uh, or Israeli intelligence have is difficult to ascertain. We don't know exactly what they know. They obviously uh, only want to give that information publicly what they want to know, what to, they want to be known publicly. Um, everything that we have comes from limited uh, briefings, leaks, reports uh, and the like. But what we do know is that both Iran and Israel, as you've just reported there, President Biden, both sides taking this these threats incredibly seriously. We've been, uh, they've been now more than a week, these threats, and they are, they are not, they are not messing around. The US uh, bolstering defence, uh, its defence and deterrence in the region, as you just reported there. And we've been also getting reports, or there have been reports in the US media, to suggest that Iran has also threatened US uh, targets in the region should they come in defence of Israel, as they have said they would do. So both sides taking the, these threats from Iran incredibly seriously. What we are hearing from Israeli intelligence is that they are particularly looking or particularly worried about uh, targets in the south of the country, around the Eilat on the border uh, region there, and uh, as well in the north. Overnight, we saw some rocket fire and drones come in from Hezbollah. Uh, they claimed responsibility for that. It was one of the biggest attacks we've seen in a while, though. Uh, it is largely thought that that is a continuation of the tit-for-tat we're seeing rather than some kind of escalation when it comes to this Iranian front. Though it could also be said, and military analysts um, have been, you know, potentially surmising that that could also be trying to, you know, busy up the troops and the resources that Israel have in order for Iran to be able to attack. So, you know, still uh, a lot unclear uh, and everybody really waiting uh, with bated breath to see how this will play out. And Rebecca, we have been talking about this all week amid escalating tensions after that airstrike on the embassy in Damascus. Do you think that we are now looking at a potential tipping point here? That's also difficult for me to say definitively, Claire. I mean, it's certainly, you know, we have been talking about this all week. The timeline has been shifting. We were hearing reports that it would come within the week. That that time frame uh, has passed. We were hearing that it could happen by the end of Ramadan. That time frame has passed. We've been hearing reports that in the next 24 to 48 hours, and that window is slowly closing too. Uh, so it's really, really difficult to say. It's difficult to say, you know, whether Iran is even serious about these attacks. It's certainly what the intelligence and, and military officials are, are taking it very seriously, but, but perhaps there will be no attack or perhaps they're waiting to surprise, uh, you know, at a time later down the track. We just don't, we just don't know, but this certainly feels like a tipping point. Uh, uh, you know, this weekend is, is tipped to be, you know, the time that we, we are expecting some kind of attack. We know that Israel has stepped up its uh, uh, um, security. It has put, put out warnings to all its consulates and embassies globally. It is, uh, you know, it is scrambling GPS in some cases within Israel. Uh, and, and it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's taking these threats very seriously. The army hasn't actually put out any uh, significant changes for the civilian population, perhaps uh, in order not to panic Israelis, uh, but they are warning Israelis to be vigilant that their air defence systems are, you know, some of the best in the world, but they can't withstand, uh, you know, everything. So, so warning civilians to remain vigilant. We'll certainly have to see this weekend how it pans out and, and what else we hear from military and intelligence officials in the coming days. 
Rebecca, thank you. That is our correspondent, Rebecca Ritters in Jerusalem.